No, because I'll tell you what happened, I was singing all the way through it. This one's a sick. I'm pretty much um, a chef at the minute. Um, I've re um, found my love for cooking the last 12 hours or so. Um, really enjoying it. Um, another good day today. I'd say better than good, very good. Um, Tomorrow, Tuesday, Thursday, our day, I have to do 12 rounds on the pads with them, and then I do six rounds on the bags myself. Uh, I'm not here to feel sorry for myself, but if anyone does feel sorry for me, it's welcome. So, tomorrow, Danny and Liam are on the same kind of training regime path because they're both fighting on the 10th of January. Jay's on the 24th, but he's in similar shape to me, so I've got one, two, three different training plans going on at the same time. As a boxer, obviously, I'm a fat, lazy bastard, but as a coach, I'm fucking so organised. I mean, it should see me now. <sighs> Ideas everywhere. But anyway, it's going really well. They're all doing really well. I'm so happy. So, that's it. Thanks for that. Just thought I'd let you all know. Liam, Liam got barred from Asda today because the bloke who works there wanted him to scrap and he won't have it and the bloke called him a fucking scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. This mug here, it's Jay's from home. It's what he uses in the gym. Um, if he has 10,000 followers by the end of tomorrow when he goes home, we're going to give it away, we're going to sign it. One unicorn each. Saying it. Um, I do it with all the boys. It's about getting them support because I tell them all the time the support I've had it melts me my heart and I'm a milk so support would be nice so get heart. behind Capaldi <laughs> we really appreciate it I do Lewis Capaldi and Post Malone mate. and um, a fucking wardrobe so um, <laughs> and Liam's a fucking scrubber <laughs> <laughs> scrubber mate <laughs> when when uh, we go to sleep, we, we lock the rooms. Um, obviously, after Liam earlier in Asda, he bottled it, to be fair. That bloke called him a scrubber and he shit himself, so I might even not even put the lock on tonight. Basically, I was at the United game, I was at the Urinal, and when you're at the Urinal, you always look down at the man next to you. So I looked down, um, and <laughs> and I felt really bad, because I thought it was like a young kid. And I looked up at Liam, and I went, fucking hell, Liam, your cock's tiny. Well, it's been here for four days, obviously five tomorrow, first week. The plan is it's going to be a permanent move, I think. You know, even if he's not boxing no more, he's going to come and live down here with us. We're all going to move in together. Um, I'd miss the sex too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a struggle, um, but if anyone wants to help sponsor us as a group of four, or any, any one of the four in particular, getting in touch would be a massive help. I think we're doing good things, so if you can help, let me know. I feel like um, it, when Danny was late, I battered him once. Um, if Liam, if, if I take advantage of Liam, I feel like he's gonna kill me in my sleep. I'm fucking solid. And, so and not, no chance. And Jay is solid. So um, basically, this is what happened. In basically, Asda. David likes to chat. Shit. So what happened then? Tell what happened then. I got my dick out. I put it on a cell scanner, <laughs> and he said, and "It was worth two inch, whatever two inches." <laughs> 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 No, tell the story, what happened? Fight any man. What any happened? man on his doorstep. Tell him what happened. What will happen is I'll run in Asda and I'll fucking scalp the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Danny would be Jeff in between us. Jay would be Dawn French, be credibly. Liam would be that fella of uh, Snaps. I am. Um, I really hope so. For his sake.
I'd be pretty pissed off at it, to be fair. The Yorkshire alone left the box. Janae Boston, who was like a national champion, was on the England squad and just a proper top, top class amateur. Kevin Bailey, they're one apiece. It's a really good fighters, to be fair, just to get through the reason. I don't, um, I don't think about Tony Yoka at all. Bastard. And then, read this, read this, this for you. <laughs> We're in this together, my son. We'll be guns out! Look, as soon as I'm in this one, please don't get her. Well, she, well, she don't give a fuck about you, obviously. She don't give a fuck about you, obviously. She don't suck my cock, bro. Fuck. He's on. Scrub her. Happy birthday, MC Rosa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. MC Rosa, happy birthday to you. I don't really, um, I don't really watch it currently. Not up to date with the current lot, but when I first started watching it, Rashad Evans was the man. Um, it just won, it won the Ultimate Fighter, and they knocked out Chuck Liddell. Uh, so probably him of all time. I would. Um, I would see what he wanted to do instead, and then we'd go and do that. Um, whatever he wants to do, boxing, if he wants to be a fucking plumber or a doctor or a anything, we'll go do that, we'll up and do that. I mean, it's different for everyone. I mean, Liam only was doing it three months, but he was ready, and I knew he was ready. Um, some people need three months, some people need a year, some a year and a half, some six months, I don't know, it just depends when you're ready I guess. But you've got to be ready when you do it. We uh, we don't, we we all body spar, uh, we'll open spar now and again, it'll be very steady stuff. We're on the same team, like, we are, we're a little family, we don't, we don't take a single second off each other's career, so it's steady. So, um, his mum could be Megan Fox or Lisa Ann and, you know, there's a line. You don't cross that line, so um, that's just something that's over that line, I'm afraid. He'll never box at Cruiserweight again, but the plan is, the first plan is to box this year six or seven times, win them all, box again the next calendar year, six or seven again. He's only 21, Need loads of time. Basically, when when you like me, bro, we fuck all, life's a bit of a struggle, you've got three options. One. You do something illegal and end up in trouble. No. Two, you be a bum. No. Three, you find something you can do and make a living out of it. And that's what I did. You know what? I get a lot of messages about this. And at the same time, a lot of people are saying, oh, we'd like to group fund sponsoring the boys and that. So, message my sister for the signed glove. And the money will go towards you all being sponsors of the three boys. Well, I think 2020, I, I won't call my kid something like Keith. Keith's gone. Kevin, probably gone. Rita. Mm, yeah. It's it's really funny that you said that because they used to call me the sternum killer um, and the chest plate punisher. Um, I'd just... I'd look at your Instagram profile thing. I'd look at you. Um, so, no. I'm not. Um, so don't, don't ask, don't message me or nothing. No, I'm married. Tommy's, um, Tommy's a lovely boy. I've known him since he was quite young, actually. A uh, nice lad. The boxing, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. He's not had many fights, you know. Obviously, he's got the Fury name, the Love Island fame. But we'll see, I guess. We'll, we'll judge him on his own merit. What message have you got? You got a message? My fucking time. <laughs> have you got a message? Happy birthday, Liam. Name, have you got a message? Suck anyone's dad off for a bag of sand.
is 403 followers on 10k. 402 followers. So, if you follow him, we'll give you the mug signed and two free tickets to my fight in Sheffield. Can it be that? See if follow me. Right, I did this story a minute ago, but it deleted it off. So basically, we went to the gym this morning. Five of us was here this morning. Um, so we went to the gym, came back, then went for something to eat, but Danny came back, so there were six of us. So we came back for something to eat, and weird story this, but anyway, came back, yeah. Me, Jay went upstairs, Liam was here, other three went home. So loads of screaming commotion downstairs. It's Liam, oh my god, I'm thinking, fucking hell, what's going on down there? Something really bad's happened, so. I go running downstairs, me and Jay, and I'm like, Liam, what's up, mate? He's got his hands on his head like this. Anyway, someone shat on the, <laughs> on the toilet seat. Not in the toilet, not on the floor, not in the shower, in the toilet seat. On the toilet seat. I said, what the fuck are you doing? He said, it's not me. Jay said, it's not him. Anyway, went to the back door. Back door's unlocked. I'm thinking, oh, my God, some sick bastards come in my house and robbed me and shat on my toilet seat. Anyway, nothing's been robbed. I thought, fucking hell, this is really worrying. Some sick cunt just shat on my toilet seat. So, anyway... So anyway, uh, Liam rung Lifty up and said, look, mate, what the fuck is going on? Why have you done this? Like, <laughs> So anyway, in the meantime, <laughs> Liam's cleaning it up, but I fucked up upstairs. I can't deal with that. Anyway, all I can hear is him gipping. So I'm fucking, I should be mad, really. Someone's, someone, someone's shit in my house at this point. But anyway, it's fucking funny. Anyway, Jay, <laughs> Jay and Liam have to tidy it up. So anyway, he, so he said to Lifty, like, look, mate, it's funny in a way. It's not funny really what it is. Looks like I've not done it. Danny's not done it. The other kid never was even in the vicinity. So, at this point, like, I'm looking at Liam and I'm thinking, mate, like, you've done this, haven't you? You sick freak. But anyway, turns out it weren't him. So anyway, at this point, I also said to Jay, like, you've done it, haven't you? Like, you knew we don't do that here. Like, this is, we don't do this in England. But it weren't him either. So anyway, what happened is this. How the fuck has that happened? How has that happened then? Who the fuck has done that? Before, before I get to the end of the story, I'm gonna post a video of, of, of what happened. Of, the, of what happened. So if you're not that, if you don't want to see it, just swipe away now. Anyway, what happened is <coughs> Liam's girlfriend came round. And Liam was like, oh, God, this happened. Like, someone shit on the toilet. And then she was like, oh, it might have been me. So, um, well, she's like, she's, she's seven months pregnant. But I'm thinking, like, what? Well, why didn't you move it? Like, on my first thought, well, why didn't you just, why didn't you move it off the, off the, like you have to turn around and pass the toilet to get out of the room. And then, all a bit confusing at this point. But, if it was if it was a man, I'd have smashed his fucking head off the toilet seat, but obviously you can't do that to a pregnant woman. But, it's gone now. Our next fight is in the Crown Plaza Glasgow on the 24th of January. Uh, Dave will be there receiving jobs and Oscar will be there giving more jobs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one all, Brentford against. Who, who are you? Chef Scrubber Wales. FC. Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Just a, uh, a message from me. Very quiet without Jay, to be honest. Um, it's not the same, bullying Liam on my own. It's not as funny. I do laugh when I caught my scrubber, but I think there's no one else here to laugh. He just thinks I'm a prick. Um, Robert Perez in the house. I'm in your company. And my heart rate's 109 at the moment. Is that stress? That's that's because I'm in your company. 100 and going up, 116. That's stress that. That's you. Start looking at me. 116, my heart. No. Oh. I only said good, that though. you're a fucking scrubber. I just can't believe she related to you. That's what she said to me. Like, 
Not for you. No one. No. What tea bags are these? Tetley. Yeah. And I've always used Tetley. Have you got plenty of tea bags? Got Tetley tea bags. Mm, I can say I've got plenty if you want some. How many you got? About four or five boxes. How many tea bags in the box? Hmm? How many tea bags in the About box? 250. So you got 750 tea bags in this house, is that what you're saying? Mm. Do you want one? No. Have you got plenty? <laughs> have you got plenty? We've got loads of tea bags, mate. Have you got plenty of tea bags, Sarah? <laughs> oh, you have them. Do you want to say, oh, God. Scrubber. Hey, what's the air, Ailey? Oh. Coming up this week for the team. First of all, we've got Liam in action Friday. That's in Doncaster as well. That's his third fight. He's had 2-1-2. Two, two. Danny is fighting on Sunday, the first round of the Junior National Championships. Probably the Yorkshire quarter-final. I imagine it will be Sunday. Um, I've got a big week. Brain scan, medical, eye test. About 12 interviews to do with me and Jay. Uh, 10 training sessions for me and Jay. Uh, 6 for Liam. Nine for Danny. It's a busy week, but we're all flying to be fair. We're on a winning streak, we're on a four fight winning streak out of the four of us. Jay's on the 24th. Um, all plans are sorted for next week for the boys. We're fucking flying to be honest. I'm not happy because I'm really busy next week, but we're flying. Yeah, thank you.